Hi, I'm Rudy Dillensager. I'm part of the global product management team for Microsoft Dynamics AX. What we're going to talk about today is how powerful and agile is Microsoft Dynamics AX when it comes to inventory management. And when we talk about inventory management is basically how do we manage product information? How, create, uh, how do we create items? How do we structure the products uh, into different uh, categories? How do we create attributes so we can better define items, so we can create information which are needed for uh, classification of the item or BI or different things such as producing information to a catalog? How can also we you know, define a uh, definition that can be shared across the organization. And that really qu comes to how do we release item and share this information across the different legal entities that we have. So basically what's happening with Microsoft Dynamics AX is being able to create item and only release them in part of the organization. And we do this through a release process. That's uh, saving a lot of time because that's uh, enables you to avoid creating some very complex uh, right management projects. And then you can also use this in order to push information to your catalogs or marketplaces or create services. Um, then, uh, once you've been um, you know, defining your different items, how do you plan them? How do you create your demand? How do you define your rules for sourcing these items and define uh, the specific rules that is going to be needed in order to do some replenishment or some material requirement planning? And with all this, how can you basically schedule uh, the amount of items that you're going to need in order to fulfill your customer needs while keeping your inventory at a low level? Once you've done all this, that's basically what is going to be allowing you to source and also to trade this item, um, you know, from manufacturing to uh, selling to transfer and also to do some procurement, basically. With this, I mean, uh, after this one slide, what I want to show you is how does that work within Microsoft Dynamics AX. So let's jump to the product. So here it is. I'm uh, within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, and that's my landing page. And here you can see that as a product manager within the Contoso companies that I'm representing in this demo environment, I can see many information uh, populating right away. And that goes from the profitability analysis, where for me as a product manager, I need to understand how good am I doing with my different product lines. I can also see the sales and uh, um, you know by period and being able to analyze uh, how does that work on the market as well. And here you can also see some uh, work list on the right here, which is basically uh, coming through the workflow and it's ac uh, asking me to uh, accept some um, some different things, which can go uh, by anything that uh, as we have a pervasive workflow within Microsoft Dynamics AX. But uh, let's go to the product, and here uh, I got my favorites, which is basically allowing me to do not navigate within the system, but just go directly to where I want to go. So here we go. I can see all the items that I'm managing here, uh, but I'm going to take my favorite item, and my favorite item happens to be a Microsoft keyboard. So here, just by uh, entering Microsoft, I can find all the items which have Microsoft within, the, within their product name. And here is my, uh, my keyboard, so I can see already some information here. But uh, let's go deeper and see how does that work. So here I can define and categorize all my different items. So my keyboard is actually part of the category components. Uh, and where does that come from? It actually comes from a, a product hierarchy that I can see here. This product hierarchy is multi-level, and you can have different level according to, uh, to where you are in the product. So if, for example, if I'm showing you uh, the video uh, product hierarchy, I can see that actually I've got an hierarchy which is going deeper. Then I talked to you about the product attribute, and the product attribute is something super interesting in order to classify and to define uh, information that are, you're going to need either uh, to search for item or to do some business intelligence around it or even to send information for a catalog that you're going to be publishing online. So here I can see this information which are specific to this particular keyboard. Uh, this keyboard is actually something uh, that has something special and uh, the something special it's got is a uh, product variant. See, this keyboard is available in black and white and I can see I've got uh, the different picture of it um, from uh, the black image here. I can see that I've got actually multiple images that I'm going to need in order to publish this product onto uh, uh, to a catalog. 
Uh, what I can also see is this item is actually available in three of my uh, different legal entities. So I can see it's available uh, within my uh, Contoso Enter Entertainment System, but also in my company in Europe and uh, my company in the West, uh, where this particular item is only available in one company. So let's put myself into the shoes of a product manager which will work into Contoso Entertainment System, and uh, let's switch view. So. Here, I'm going to see the same item, but I'm uh, at a local company level. And here, I'm going to be able to see all the information related to this item and being able to create information which is specific to, uh, to my specific company. So obviously, here, I've got some generic information which should be shared across the different entities. But I, I can define which are my procurement rules. I can also define uh, how am I selling it and et cetera. So I can have all the different information here. Um, but here, that's uh, pretty much information you're saying uh, no once in a while, and you don't need to, to, to access this uh, on a daily basis. So what we provide to you is this workbench where actually you can have all the items listed in here that you're managing and being able to, to go through the different information in a rapid way. So that's the reason why we've got this ribbon here where you can access all this information that you need. For example, in terms of procurement, what is going to be my purchase price, what kind of discount do I get, and etc. I can also have the same thing for on the selling side, and what is going to be my pricing, uh, the discount that I'm going to do, and etc. But let's focus on the planning side of the story. So here, I can, from one place again, easily manage what is my uh, default order setting. So how am I procuring this item? Am I actually buying it? Am I actually uh, producing it or getting it from another site through a particular transfer? I can have also some, uh, some site uh, information. So in my legal entity, I've got maybe multiple sites and I want to be able to have some specific rules which are only available for one, of sp one site. So here, I've got all the default information for my entire uh, company and here I'm going to have only specific information. I can also define what is my item coverage. And the item coverage is going to be uh, defining all the rules that I'm going to need in order to replenish this item. But again, that's uh, information that uh, you may not change every day. On an everyday basis as a, as a product planner, what I want to do is to have an overview of uh, how good am I doing in terms of inventory? Am I having enough stock or, um, in order to fulfill the requirement for my customers? So with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, what we've been creating is this one single view of the truth where you can see across your legal entity how are you doing with this particular item. So you can see here I've got my demand. I'm just going to uh, collapse this. And I can see that this demand actually uh, is, is also uh, available in a graphical way. And I can basically see that I'm, uh, here I'm, I'm out of stock. I mean, I don't have enough inventory. So I can basically understand what's happening uh, through my planning horizon, which here is at daily level, for example. If I'm moving forward in time, I'm going to be at weekly level and then at monthly level. And I can also sort, you know, for, for a view which is more comfortable for me, for example, and I can say, well, I want to see everything by month. Okay, all I need to do is this, and then I'm going to have my overview of my stock by month. Here, Basically, I can see that my uh, inventory is negative, and I can understand why. So if I'm looking at my demand here, I just expand my view here, and I can see that I've got my forecast, I've got some sales going on. If I'm going on my sales, I can actually see the different sales order which, which are happening uh, for this particular item, and I will be able to see all the details. I can do the same, basically, for the transfer order. So here I understand my demand. I mean, I'm not going to change my demand, obviously. I mean, I want to serve my customer. So what I'm going to be able to do is to, uh, to work on my, on my supply and see what's happening. So if I'm expanding this view, I can see that I'm having some uh, planned purchase order. I'm having some, uh, some transfer order uh, that are happening. But obviously, that's not enough in order to cover my requirements. So what I can do here directly from that particular screen is either to uh, plan an order or to have a firm order directly generated from here. So let's see how am I creating a planned order. I'm just clicking on that particular button, and here I can choose what kind of order type I want to use. So do I want a purchase order? Do I want to have a production order, a transfer, or for example, a Kanban if I was uh, in lean manufacturing? And that's basically when we talk about mix mode in Microsoft Dynamics AX, it's coming from there. You can uh, uh, different have these different ways of sourcing directly available from here. So here I'm going to do a basically planned purchase order. I'm ordering uh, 
few hundred qualities, for example, to cover my stock. I can uh, you know, set up the delivery date here just by simply saying, okay, I want it delivered by next Monday. And my vendor is already there because, uh, again, I've been creating my sourcing rule, and my sourcing rule was having a vendor into this already assigned to this particular item. So I'm basically saving time, and I don't need to find out you know, which vendor can supply this item. And here, all I need to do is to basically create uh, this uh, uh, particular plan purchase order. And here I can see that my plan purchase order, which was 120 here, has moved up to uh, 320. And I can actually see that I just created this uh, qu uh, plan purchase order for a quantity of 200. So what's going to happen now is my procurement, procurement desk is going to take over my work. and. Uh, from this order, um, you know, negotiate eventually with my vendor and, and, and approve this plan purchase order so I can fulfill um, you know, my stock to my and being able to deliver um, my goods to my customers. It was just a sneak preview of, uh, of Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, and I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, an overview of what can we do in terms of product information management and how easy it is from one central place to manage the entire application. So with this, um, I'm wishing you a very good day and thank you for following me.